Okay, so uh, was asked the question on holding on to a vague image and how to let that go. Um, well, if if there's still that that is usually the way of um, with with advanced uh, self inquiry or the observer, usually the, what is left of the self becomes more and more vague and more and more unfocused uh, and more and more subtle. And you're just uh, trying to fish out what still remains of of what's left of the ego, a sense of personal, a sense of limited sense of self. So there could be a vague image in the background, which is great. You know, these sometimes they're unconscious and sometimes one becomes conscious. It's like the infinite is bringing up <clears throat> something that still remains to be deleted. So then um, uh, it just then becomes the, it, it's like an intuitive silent message to just delete that until that exists uh, ceases to exist as the the remains of the of the self so it's just like okay um so there's a there's a vague image or a sense of self in an image format so what's then um so who's experiencing the image or what experiences the image and then to look within so and uh so is is that to look rather than be uh, being aware of the image look within to what is it that experiences the image and see if that which is within uh is still experience and if if one looks within and and does the image exist there and then uh and then and then you know as one looks in uh one may find that there is no image looking inwards or if there is or the image gets changes or becomes more vague then is there a deeper look look beyond that even so if there's still existing any sense of image then what's what's within that or is there a detached observer where that image ceases to exist so in doing that over and over again that we just tend to wash out or otherwise it can become like a thing like everything is cleared and all that remains is a vague sense of image imagery maybe subtle in the background so then it's like uh it's like um just um sometimes it might might involve just sitting down and just inquiring and being in the silence where the image doesn't exist for a period of time just to get even more deeper so there's some more deeper inquiry onto the image until so that will that will mean that it is not unconsciously accepted throughout the day it's like it's you know there's concentrated work and inquiry just to delete it so that that uh, what may be unconscious is consciously inquired into until that ceases ceases to exist so it may just and then at a certain point as as one is inquiring into it oh you can cancel it uh, uh, you know um, the images a subtle sense of image can only exist because there is um, uh, 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 because there's some interest in it so if one cancels it because you're an infinite it, and in, the infinite cannot be restricted to a limited image even an unfocused a vague image uh, the infinite uh, that is also uh, that is also seen and is not interesting anyway so then then not seen so your your inf your infinite being is beyond any identification it can't hold register even something like that it, it's too far beyond that uh, where those things would exist or anything could identify with a vague image. But in, in the practical experience, it's just to, um, you know, one it's like it's like grace is bringing that up. Okay, uh, you still have a bit of vague imagery there. Like, uh, j just keep working on it until it, it no longer pops back in. And if there's something more vague or subtle that needs to come, it'll, it'll come up and then you can resolve, one can resolve that. Not that anybody does it. It's like grace just automatically cleaning out anything that's um, left to be washed out. <clears throat>